Hi everybody. Hi everybody. So I'd like to welcome you to one of the biggest projects that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. You've probably seen this in the background of a few videos, but this is my 1995 Nissan 180SX. I have had this thing sitting around for almost 10 years now and have been chomping at the bit over the years to get this thing built and in a fashion that I've always wanted. I have collected bits for it. It is a complete car. Um, <clears throat> when I bought it originally, no motor, no gearbox, a couple of little things missing, but it is a full complete car. It is currently in pieces. It did get pulled apart years ago when I first got it. And now we're gonna find everything, lay it all out, see where everything goes, and uh, yeah, get it all back together. So it's in really, really good shape. This is a second hand rear lid. For it, uh, I actually have the original lid for it, so there's um, there's nothing wrong with it. Bonnets, front vented guards, front um, bar side skirts. We don't have a rear bar for it for a kit, so we're going to have something for that. We've been looking around for that lately. But she's in pretty good shape. A little bit of roughage. They've hacked in here and done a few bits and pieces, so we're going to clean all that back out. Windscreen was uh, was broken, so it come out now. The biggest thing. The biggest current issue that we have is obviously clean it out and the front end was sandblasted about five years ago. Car was pushed out for a paint session one day and it rained. It was out for about a week and it rained and unbeknownst to me, the material, there was a lot of um, chopped up steel in the sand that was still in the car and it's just left basically piles of hardened rusty steel everywhere so we're going to get in clean all that out so this is the first thing we're going to clean it out we have an engine package for it we have um, a rebuilt sr20 dt aftermarket turbo we have a stainless steel exhaust manifold we're going to modify to put on we have a five-speed manual gearbox we have all the fancy bits so we're going to start getting stuck into this thing first thing is to clean it out i am very, very excited. Very, very excited for this thing. So I cannot wait. It will get completely stripped out. The rear crater will come out, get fully rebuilt. We'll see what diffs in there. Those few things. Uh, we have rims for it. Uh, old school rims. Rims that I saw on the first 180SX that I wanted to buy about 20 years ago almost. And I uh, really like the rims and I want it on this car. So this is one of the first cars that I've done it in a very long time that hasn't had the crap kicked out of it, isn't full of dints, isn't full of rust. So the bodywork on this thing is actually very, very, very easy, except for the damage in the bay, which we'll run through as we go and we'll show you what was found, what was done. We did find originally that the Speedo had been wound back, so it said it had 105,000 Ks on the clock, but I know that it's got a hell of a lot more than that on there, which isn't an issue. So um, it's just a shame that people do stuff like that and try to hide these things. The condition of the car back then was bought for a good price. We got it for a good deal. So we've, if we sold it today, we'd definitely make our money back. But that's not what we want to do. We're going to build this thing. We're going to make it old school JDM up to a point. It's going to have TVs in it. It's going to have a whole bunch of crazy shit that's completely irrelevant. But every part of it's going to be awesome. So I cannot wait to get into this. So let's get stuck into it. Let's clean it out. Let's go from there.
So as we can see with the stuff on the floor, she's pretty, uh, pretty in here. So it will come off. It's just a matter of chipping it all away, and uh, the cat's going to help. Uh, so sweep it all out, get the rest of the little bits and pieces out, clean her up, and start chipping this all out. Um, our first sort of major thing is literally just the clean, and then. We're going to work on the bay. Will be our. Uh, we're going to work on the bay. Will be our first area um, to tidy that up. So we're actually going to sort of pretty well half build the car, get the engine in. We're going to change a few things around um, that I've seen over the years that I'd like to do, and uh, they pull the engine out and then obviously paint everything. So I want to get the engine in, settle the intercoolers up, uh, double check the exhaust. Uh, any modifications to the wiring, anything we want to do, we want to lay it all out, get it pretty well right so we less damage the paint. So we're going to make this thing as possibly mint as we can. So uh, there's a lot of gear we want to squeeze in this thing. May end up with a roll cage. We'll see how I feel about that. More than likely won't, but later on in life that can always be changed. At this stage, I don't want to go hacking the dash up and, and doing too much crazy stuff. We'll get in, we'll keep cleaning this, and we'll go from there. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me. I saw no shadow, I looked around. Searched every building and home that I found. I saw no shadow, but felt the glow. The warmth inside me kept me afloat. Felt like heaven, and found my bones. Give me comfort when I feel alone You are gone, I'm alone I guess it's time to get better Through the pain, I will go alone If I fall, break my bones I will scream even louder Cause I'm not dying alone My best friend, 23 She left her body and hovered above me Dying again and again I went to hell Instead of death But I keep fighting with each living breath I saw no way out From where I stood Felt like the fire had burned me for Now yeah, you're gone I'm alone I guess it's time to get better Through the pain I will go alone If I fall
waited for this moment for almost 10 years and I am very, very happy. I, it's a little bit, honestly it's a little surreal. It's sat in this shed in the same location off and on now for so long. This is actually surreal that I'm finally to the point where I can work on it. Everything else can just wait. <laughs> Okay, so we finally got the car vacuumed out. We've got all of the sandblasting medium and all the rust and everything else that was inside the car. So our next step now is to drop out the rear cradle. So we're going to jack that up, chock either side of it, and drop everything out. So that's brake lines, that's the whole shebang. We're going to get the whole thing out, strip the cradle down, rebuild it, have it back in the car as well. Uh, we do have the coilovers to do as well, but they've all got to get rebuilt. So that's for a later date. We'll get this thing jacked up now. We'll start pulling the cradle out, get it sorted, 
uh, it's just standard new bushes and everything but we'll make sure that and all the aftermarket bits will bolt in as well with what we've got so let's get this thing jacked up So not that I did this with the rest of the car, but as I go, I'm putting everything back on as best I can so I don't lose it or I have to go searching through a million boxes, which is what's going to happen later. brackets on the front but now we know that we won't have a trouble later on we're going to strip this thing down we've got aftermarket upper control arms we're going to clean it all paint it all strip the diff down double check all of that make sure that it's functioning its best give it a coat of paint but while everything's out of the car we are going to rust proof underneath to check some things a lot of bits and pieces but we're going to go through that in uh, one of the, the following videos there'll be a full thing on the rust proofing and checking and that'll be a bit of a bit of a whole thing as long as the painting process and everything else but the rust proofing in that is uh, a key from what I've seen in a lot of other guys that have rebuilt these cars and even taken them completely apart so that'll be good first of all we've got this out now strip it down and that's our first major step done okay so the rear cradle is out and now time to dismantle so what we've got to look at in here is all the bushes and the upper arms, the stabilizing arms, the bottom arm, and the, the bottom bottom arm. And then we have bearings in here as well, which we'll have a look at. If they need to be replaced, all these bushes, all the mounting bushes, you can see this one's blown out. This is, probably pull that out if we need to. 
We'll have a look at all these boots as well, see if anything needs to be replaced there. Um, strip this down just to clean it out and go from there. So we have parts that we will put into this. We will put all the new bits in as we go, the adjustable arms, rotors and pads and stuff. We'll probably put all that on later when we figure out exactly what we want to do with that. And to the whole thing will get cleaned, blasted, painted. Parts are going to get powder coated as much as we can to make it look pretty and durable. Underneath the car is going to get all done as well, so we're going to have any issues with there. But right now, we'll strip this down, see what we're in for. And being that the car was made in 1995, I have no idea if any of this stuff has ever been replaced. So pretty much everything will get replaced and cleaned out. The bearings are one of those things we'll have a check. If they feel okay like for now, I'll probably leave them. Um, change them on later is a pain, but... Um, yeah, at this stage, we'll just have an assessment and see if we change one, we'll change both. If we leave one uh, and they're both good, we'll, we'll leave them both and go from there. Okay, so the cradle's apart. As we can see, everything is laying on the ground in its prettiness. Now the diff, all this we will strip down, do all the seals front and all the seals in here as well. Clean it all out. Um, everything we're going to look at actually is powder coating everything. So we're actually going to look at doing our own powder coating. Um, it's something that I wanted to get into and have a bit of a play with. So this is definitely a great place to do that. The only thing is... The press that I have may not be good enough to get all the new seal, uh, the new bushes in. So we'll work on that. I might have to get the guys in town to do it. Otherwise, we'll look around and get a bigger press, see what we can do, or we'll figure that out later. Um, K frame, on the other hand, will not fit in the powder coating boots. So we'll look into that. It may just get a nice coat of two pack black. Um, which isn't so bad, it'll still come out really good, but it'll have to get sandblasted and cleaned as well. But everything here is ready to go. We'll clean all this up, bag everything, get all these bolts back together where they need to be. We've got the two sides, stuff for the diff here, and yeah, get that happening, start buying everything, and then we can get it back together and get it out of the car. But uh, we're on our way.